Oh yes, my brother. Oh yes. Do you know what this is right over here? Bro, you don't know what that is, man. That's a Brazilian coxinha, meu irmão. Tá ligado, cara? Você quer pegar os peixes aí, velho? Tem que comer bem, meu. Tem que ter a energia, mano. That's right. Wanna catch the species? Boy, you better have the energy, right? Anyways, if you watch the previous video on the YouTube channel, you should know that for me, at least, it is still January 20th. As a matter of fact, just to let you all know, I am not cheating, right? See that right over here, dude? It's 10, 17 a.m. right there. You feel me? The one day sunrise to sunset species challenge continues, man. We're at the count of 10 right now. Let's use some different techniques, yeah? And bump those numbers up. All right, let's cast a piece of shrimp right here along the current. In the morning, we punch the more the rocks, the coral reefs that are right in front of us over here. I mean, it is it's still the morning, <laughs> but if we want to catch different species, got to try different approaches. Got to do a little bit of everything today though. Punch rocks, cast it out there. Uh, put the sabiki on later today. Try some cut bait, some shrimp. Gentleman over here said he's got some squid. Got to try a little bit of everything. Oh, easy boy on the shrimp. Don't get in the hole. No, it's just a sergeant major. Oh, is there not the yellow tail snap? Oh, this is a good sign though. This is, this is a sign of the gods right here, right? We finished the previous video on the YouTube channel with a yellow tail snap. And we are starting part two over here with a yellow tail snap. Oh, Siurus. Crisurus, this has got to be a good sign, right? That the rest of the day is going to be good. Still surprised we haven't landed a slippery dick yet. This is unbelievable. Halicoeiris bivitatus has not showed up today yet. Oh my lord, fish on the shrimp. Fish on the shrimp. Oh yeah, boy, what we got here? We were just talking about you. We were just talking about you, huh? Huh, boy? Halicuetis bivitatus. Yeah, all right. These ones are hard to handle. Gonna put it in there first. I really hate handling these dudes. Come on, we can do this. Just use the little green thing, dude. Ice fishing, we ice fishing now. There we go, we off, son. Whoo, hate handling these fellas. So, you know. I don't use pliers no more. I just use my cold snap and just uh, took like that. <laughs> so we don't really need to handle it. They are called a slippery dick for a reason, right? Oh, look, dude, dude is just circling around. Had to stop here for a moment to clean my lens. Oh, yeah, look at that, huh? Alicoeres bivitatus. I'm going to throw this one over here back real quick. No, Freddy, don't do it. Freddy, bad boy. You should know eating slippery dicks is no good for you. What you said, boy? You like slippery dicks? That what you just said, huh? No good for you, man. That's why I said earlier today in this video, I mean, in the previous episode, we can't leave no fish inside the bucket no more with the pelicans around. As soon as I leave a species in here and the fish is circling, right, and my jack o egg bucket is transparent, the pelican comes over when I'm away and tick, 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 it steals all my fish. Yesterday I was fishing here too. I got my lifer, lifer, green razor fish, right? Remember my mom caught one over here years ago and I was like, man, how did you even know do that, right? I was so happy, but the thing is, when I set the hook, the razor fish fell off the hook because it has a very tiny mouth, fell here right on the ground, and guess what? 
Freddy, the Pelican, ate it, man. I wasn't shooting videos. I was just doing contests for the inner circle. I didn't take photos. I couldn't count the life. I was so <laughs> I was so pissed. You gotta watch out for the birds down here in Florida. All right, anyways, anyways, that was number, that was number 11, right? Oh, this is just the beginning. Let's try at least to get into the 20s today. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's see what we got, uh, Sergeant Major. Oh, wait, a pork fish. Ah, got a pork fish. Uh -huh. Yeah, even the dog knows. That's the good one. <laughs> That's right. That's oh, you're good. not going to throw that back? I, I will. I'm going to take some photos and then back it goes. Shoot my video over here, you know? Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, go ahead, man. Mighty pork fish, huh? You know it when you see it turn in the water. It's got the two black stripes, right? The yellow color. One of the few fish down here too that has yellow on its body. Look at that, huh? That is beautiful. Anisotremus virginicus. We haven't really found its cousin out here yet either, right? The black margate. The Anisotremus surinamensis. That is one that we still need for 2023. But that being said, that was number 12 for today. Double digits and the technique is working. You folks see how the current is going this way right now? That's because the tide is going from high to low, right? You got this swift current over here bringing all the food and whatever to the fish. And then you got the coral reefs, right? You got the sandy patch right along here. You cast right along that area, right over there, man. The fish, they're just waiting for that yummy food, right? To come right in front of their faces. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my Lord. Shrimp on fire. No, no, don't go into the rock, dude. Don't go into the rock. What do we got here? Ah, it's a slipper. Hey, easy, Freddy. Easy. Johnny Freddy, get out of here. I told you all, eating slippery dicks is no good for you, man. Never seen birds like this, man, that like dicks, I mean, slippery dicks so much. Seriously, man, and they love it. I'm telling you, man, if, uh, if you give them an opportunity, they will swallow this stuff in one go. Oh, easy. Oh, you know what? Since it's there already, boom, there you go. Look at that, bro. Even the laughing gold, bro. You like his slippery dicks? You get out of here. This is no good for you. That one was too. That slippery dick was too big for you. Okay, man. Know your own size, man. These birds, bro. You can't make that up. All right, deep in the hole you go, son. Got two bites over here recently. Fish on, fish on, boy. Fish on, dude. A lionfish! Wow! Wow! That, that, that's a dangerous one! That's amazing, dude! It came from the hole! Wow! Yeah, this is my first one ever, too! Awesome, yeah! Yeah, that's wow. awesome! I mean, it's very dangerous! Yeah! But, 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 yeah, that's, yeah, that's awesome! Pick, huh? Of course, dude! Yeah, I'm gonna snap a, I'm gonna snap a, a pic, too, but... That's cool! Man. That is crazy, yeah. isn't it? Dang! Well, there you have it, huh? Whatever is left of our lionfish over here. I just severed the spine of the fish, one cut, you know, and just dispose it of it quickly, as humanely as possible. Florida Wildlife actually encourages anglers to kill these down here, right? Whenever you encounter them, because they are highly invasive to the area and they actually bring damage to the native ecosystem over here. Otherwise, I would just have let the fish go. But needless to say, I did take a few photos of this fellow right over here. I was extremely surprised that it came out from a rock and it is a lifer for us. It is a new species for 2023. And it is also, you know, a species 13 for our challenge today, right? 
I am going to save it as cut bait. I'm going to cut the dorsal spines. Look at how big those spines are, right? I'm gonna cut the dorsal spines. I'm gonna save it as cut bait. So the fish is not going to go to waste, okay? And unbeknownst to a lot of people, just because they're venomous, that does not mean that you cannot eat lionfish. So if you ever catch the bigger version of it down here in Florida, right? Don't just kill it and throw it away, okay? Use it for something productive. You can eat it too. The meat is actually really good. Yeah, all right, this is a bittersweet experience because I gotta tell you, today was the first time that I saw one of these. It is definitely a very beautiful type of fish. But I do kind of feel bad about killing it, you know? This is like equivalent to the round goby, right? Or the Asian carp. It really falls within that category right there. Well, all right, 13. Let's, let's keep the grind on. What do you got? Oh, yeah. All right, we're buying this thing. I need you a net. Bro, what do you got? The big one. Oh, the big one? Oh, dude, I don't have the net out today. No? Are you going? Oh, the big one. Yeah, dude. The you, big one. You will have to walk to the rock, man. Yeah. Just walk through the current to the rock. Oh, yeah, bro. Dang, dude. Yeah, you got the big file fish. Uh, why you don't want it to? Uh, give that fish to pelicans. Uh, well, first it is illegal in Florida by law, oh, and uh, it's feeding. yeah. But it's just a fish, no? Huh? Oh, you're so not you supposed. Don't know what's the type of fish? You can give it, yes. Oh no, you can't give them anything. It's oh. illegal. Yeah, and I mean, you will understand if you fish. They come, they steal your fish. Sometimes if your fish still has the hook on it. The hook gets hooked ah, on their beak, okay. you know? So you don't want to get the bird used to that kind of stuff. Ah, okay. Here, bro, if you go to the rock over there, I'll bring it, I'll get on a little net, but you have to drag it through the current here. <sighs> do you think you'll be able to do it? Good. All right, easy now, easy. Let it tire it out, because I mean, it's gonna be pretty sketchy here with the little net. Try to bring, yeah, try to bring it this way. One moment, one moment, we got it, we got it. Oh. There you go. Dude, that's a big file fish, bro. <laughs> Woo! File fish? It's a, it's a scraw file fish. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, man, let's take good care of this fish. Yeah. Do a quick hook and then yeah. take photo and just let it go, all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. That's fine. It, it ain't gonna hurt you, oh. yeah. Oh. I, I will, I will, dude. Okay. Don't worry, bro. I got you covered. Here, got a little bit more forward, a little bit up. Yeah. Oh, for sure, dude, for sure. I got you. All right, you're good to go. You're good to go, man. I took, I took a bunch. Oh, good. Scroll file fish. Oh yeah, should be. Oh yeah, it's fine, dude. It's fine. It's fine. We, we took good care of it. Good job, man. That is what's up. Hey. That is what I'm talking about, man. Ah, boy. Mm. Before going to bed, this is what you do. Get a bunch of these. You see how there's ice in there? Get a bunch of these. Put it in your freezer. Next day when you wake up before you come to the fishing session, just take a few of them with you, you feel me? Believe me, man. It's gonna do you some good. Just because we're fishing hard out here, that don't mean that we're not taking good care of ourselves, right? Look at that, we got banana boat, 100 right over here. Oh yeah, man. Spray like it owes you money. Get that neck behind the ears so that when you go to bed man it ain't gonna be hurting you feel me a lot of people usually come on this youtube channel too and they're like yo bro you always complaining you is hot so how come you always using long sleeves and black collars i tell you what that's a very good question but did you know unbeknownst to a lot of people that when you use dark clothes, the clothes, they absorb all the UV 
and the heat so that it goes easier on your skin I would rather be hot out here you know than the skin cancer dude you do this job all the time you know what I'm saying you got to make sure man that you are protected all right I just had a little restroom break because I've been hydrating a little bit too much I kind of relocated a little bit to the left side over here I was fishing over there right now I'm kind of like under the bridge it is noon and this is the time of the day that my GoPros really start overheating so I come here under the bridge right I can come here to the shade if I want to get my GoPros cool down and guess what look at all of that look at all of that right it is time for me to bring out the big reel man give it a few casts around there to see some different species if some different species going to show up right we're currently at 13 oh man we need to do much better than that Should be able to catch something that we haven't caught today yet oh yeah got a hit right over here hoping it's not as slippery dick son come over here kalama come over here hopefully it's not as slippery as a slippery dick isn't it boy oh wait a moment wait a moment it's not as slippery dick wait a moment this may be something different wait a moment guys this is not a slippery dick even though it looks like one no this is not a slippery get out of here freddy get out of here huh get out this is not a slippery dick keep telling myself that it may become something else yeah i know what this is let's put it in the bucket at first glance it looks like a slippery dick doesn't it after all it makes sense it is its cousin right it is a species of ross in the Halicoetis genus but this is actually the Halicoetis poe okay aka the black ear ross black ear for a reason right it's got this little black dot over here in the adults so this actually makes it another sample for today that's number 14 not to mention this is my first one for 2023 as well huh so add another one over there that is awesome it was a good move to move over here for sure man you cast in different places right in particular in between the pilings over there never know what you're going to land came from right over there too I mean, we're getting hits on the squid but so small though what are these things we have to cast a size 18 hook here oh dude rocks that's what it is we got some uh we got some rocks down there son hey that's not cool that is not cool man come on i'm using 30 pounds bro i'm using 30 pounds You're telling me people come here with a fishing line Wow, dude, whatever I got hooked on down there, it's resistant. It is real resistant. Yeah, all right. Have to use, damn. Oh yeah, I'm stuck too. <laughs> My line's been in there for a while. Oh, it's out, it's out. Oh, fish took it out. Ooh, lucky super lucky man sailors grunt took it out for me thank you son thank you very much not only it's another species for today but oh my goodness i was going to lose my gear my man hi mulon paha thank you thank you again thanks i know you are no flathead but thank you man flatheads are notorious for taking your rig outside of snags too in the northeast 
Oh yes, that is lovely. That is what's up. 15th species of the day. Sailor's grunt. Hi Malone. Ah yeah. Back he goes. That's how I like it. Got me out of the snake. Thanks. Fresco, yeah, that's how they say it, man. Your boy got the fresco calamar right here, man. Oh, oh, oh yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, fresco calamar. Uh, Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major, bro. The bluegill of the sea. Hey, the yellow there is very beautiful, you know, with the black bars. Plus, there are a few other species of Abu Def Duf that we haven't really caught today yet. Would be nice to catch an Abu Def Duf Taurus, right? The Night Sergeant. But that one I haven't really seen today yet. Come on, Calamar Fresco, Calamar, Calamar. Oh, 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 easy, bro, easy. Don't be too aggressive on my calamar, okay? My man. Yeah, all right. It's all Sergeant Major over here. That is no good, man. It's all Sergeant Major. May have to do a move real soon. We did get two more species by the bridge piling, but my man is starting to repeat now. Maybe I'm going to go back. To the reef area right over there and wait for the tide to change that's the game for today moving from spout to spout oh this is the limit of where you can actually fish there's a sign right there that says no fishing no netting beyond that point so i'm gonna leave my stuff all the way here there were like four or five people fishing around the reef area you know I, I didn't mean to intrude we fished there the entire morning I may go back there later in the afternoon but for now I kind of thought you know what why not try the rocks over here right the sandy environment around this area man all the sand should have some moharas or some sand species around right I guess we're going to find out soon enough. This denzel fish do surely do love their shrimp. Dude, they don't like squid too much, but you punch a shrimp down there, they bite almost instantly. It's crazy. So I always say, dude, different species of fish. Oh, easy! Easy! What is this? This does not look like a dusky denzel fish because this is not a dusky denzel fish sir yes sir oh we will take some real good luck at what this is but this ain't no dusky denzel fish i'll tell you that this is a species 16 for today that is what's up you come down here to florida to do some multi-species fishing Woo! this is what you get in the eyes of many, just a little denzel fish. They are so hard to identify sometimes that people look at them, right? And they're all just like, yeah, denzel fish, right? I'm gonna put some photos over here for you all so that you all understand that this is a long thin denzel fish, all right? The Istegastes, the Ancaeus, and what makes it so unique is that both its soft dorsal fin and anal fin, the lobes are very long and they extend past the caudal peduncle, all right? That is actually mostly how you identify this particular species of fish, at least for the juveniles, the small ones, right? It's got a black blotch on the dorsal fin at the base too, blue, like a blue streak on the anal fin. But like I said, for people who are not live listeners, right? They look at the different denzel fish down here. May all be dusky to them. You feel me? But this is a species 16 for today. We are slowly creeping into the 20s. I'm going to release it right next to where I caught it. That rock right over there. That is what's up. No bites on the squid out there yet. 
I'm trying to sand the environment, but hey, you know, at least the rocks over here are providing. This current is about to get prime. Ooh. Calamar. All right, Calamar. Eee, maybe a sergeant major. Oh, look at that. No, 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 no. That's another expensive one right here. I'll tell you that. Dude, we got ourselves a bean tail puffer. This runs in the aquarium trade for like 60 to 80 bucks, depending where you go. Look at that, huh? Yes, Fueroides Spengleri. Check that out, huh? Our first puffer of the day. Band tail puffer, sphoidoides, spingleri, huh? All right, throw that one back, man. We're wasting no time. Put another piece of that juicy calamar carnal and throw it out there, man. It. There we go. Easy now, don't go into the rock. Easy. I hope it's not a sergeant major. Come on, man. Hopefully something a little bit different, huh? Eh? Even if it is a grunt that we haven't caught today yet, that would still be pretty cool. Oh, dude, look at that, bro. It's a scroll cowfish. <laughs> hey, look at that, huh? Now that, my friend, that is exotic right there. Acantostracion quadricornis. Yet another species for today, boxfish. Love the calamar, look at that dude. Love that squid right there. Take it out here real quick, easy bro, easy. I'm not gonna hurt you. There we have it, look at that, huh? Booyah. Sir, yes sir. Ladies and gentlemen, for me at least, this is what Florida is all about. Look at that. Look at the colors on that trunk fish, huh? Ain't that beautiful, that electric blue? Anyways, let's not keep this dude outside of the water for too long. Scrawled countfish. Species number what? 17, 18 of today so far. Man, we're almost into the 20s. And it is only 2.38 p.m. Tide just started to shift too. That is what's up. Two from 20. Barracuda got your fish, huh? I know, dude. You're feeding the Barracuda for free, bro. There we go. Prime bait right here. That's good bait right there. Get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Beautiful. Got here a Bali who. All right, we just got the prime bait right over here. We got a little Bali who. Now we're just going to live line and throw the sucker out there to see if that big ass barracuda is still around here. All righty, pips. I got good news and I got bad news. It is 4.08 p.m. right now. Man, I don't even know how well you all can see that, but the bad news is that this is my last GoPro battery and it is a 7% right now. So I won't really be able to shoot any footage over here until sunset comes in one and a half hour. Now the good news, 
the good news you feel me is that we're finishing off today with at least and i repeat at least 19 different species of fish right and i mean it is really such a, truly a shame because the tide is pretty okay right now we found that school of ballyhoo you just never know what is going to happen right but that being said i mean you know i've been shooting footage over here since the morning right i should have calculated that these gopro batteries that i have and i carry a bunch of them wasn't really going to last me the entire day well that being said i hope that you folks enjoyed this episode and the previous episode on the youtube channel all right the entire objective of these two videos was really to get more people hopefully in the future into live listing right so for those who are live listers right now when you watch this video that is great for aspiring live listers that is great and if you are not hey at least you learned a lot of stuff right watching this video and that video just by seeing how i do things out here not to mention okay highlight of the day that lionfish huh the red lionfish which was a lifer let me tell you from the whole came a lion <laughs> that's all i'm going to say that's probably going to be the title of this video but that's it for now i'll see you all next time all right tie lines and take it easy Is that a grape? Is that a grape? Kid, yeah, yeah, it looks like a grape. I think the kid was using a grape as bait. The heck Florida is going on here, dude?